guys and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I have days in my life, just a combined vlog, but I didn't really have an intro to this video, so I thought that I would just do one today and show you guys a little bit of skincare. Test out this new product. I literally just got this in the mail like yesterday and I kind of used it yesterday, but I want to properly use it this morning. This is called a gua sha. I'm not sure if you've seen any TikToks about it, but I feel like especially recently it's been so popular on there. Mine is rose quartz and it's just this tool where you apply pressure onto your face. It's supposed to relieve tension and pain and you can like drain your lymphatic nodes is that the word i have no clue and it like lifts certain parts of your face and like defines your jawline this is an ancient chinese technique which is so cool i want to learn more about like the history behind it and stuff do your whole skincare first and then you need to apply an oil onto your face so i'm just gonna use oil and just apply it all over my face as we talk about skincare, I'll just talk to you guys and say, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good morning or whenever you are watching this. I just woke up. It's currently 8.52 and the sun is shining. And if you guys don't recognize where I am, I'm actually in my room. But my room is normally beige and the walls are white. So you may be confused why. But I am in the process of redoing my room right now. And you guys have been asking me for so long when I'm actually going to do this video. And it's been taking me so long because I've been wanting to like make sure that I have all my furniture before I start filming it. But I finally started so trust me. It's in the process. I'm gonna begin with this So I think you're supposed to start on your back and you should go downwards for drainage because I think you're trying to like drain some like liquid that's inside of you i don't really know while i'm doing this i'm going to put some frequency music we've got that full moon and libra energy i'm actually filming this the day you guys are seeing it so you guys will also feel the full moon and libra if you guys are interested into like astrology or any of that stuff i'm a libra so i'm very excited about this <laughs> Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is on my jaw and we're trying to get that snatch jawline. For this, if you guys are interested in getting one of these, they said to like have your elbow up and it's kind of like pressing against your skin. Like you shouldn't have it directly straight forward. It's like more sideways like this. So far, it's feeling so good. It's especially nice when the stone is cold. side done i think like i said this is like my first time fully doing it so i don't know if i'm properly doing it but you guys can let me know does this side look more lifted i'm gonna try to do it for like two weeks and like see if i see any difference in my face i definitely need to take some before and after pictures i let my hair down it's all crazy this is the final result I honestly don't know if there's any difference because I literally just got it like two days ago. That was a little skincare segment. Let's cue it the next day. I'm currently getting ready because I'm going with Cam and Rosina to go take pictures, you know, a little content taking day. And every so often, maybe once every two weeks or once a week, we'll just pick like a bunch of outfits and then drive somewhere and then just take a bunch of photos so that we have content to post. I'm going to do my winged liner. A lot of you guys actually ask how I do this and I just use a random like brown shade in a palette and my eyebrow brush. And I normally go along my eye and just like trace it. And then I just follow my under eye and just kind of like do a little line there. I don't know. It's really easy. Give it a try and it's very flattering. Hey guys. Ah, I am finally with Cam. We are driving downtown right now. We saw two people with the top down so we were like, yeah, it must, Why not? must be top off season. It's hot out too. It is. Like I feel warm cooking in here. <laughs> Look at yeah, this. our stuff in the back looks kind of concerning. I don't it's, know. This is all the it. stuff that we're gonna take photos in, and we actually oh. have our whole wardrobe here, but we're like concerned that it's gonna fall out. We're gonna go to the city city, right? Because we wanna take some photos with like buildings in the background. Yeah. That would be really cool. And then we're gonna get some lunch. Uh -huh. Um, what are you vibing with? Virginia, I'm kinda down for that. Or just find a random yummy place along yeah. the way. If you guys live in Vancouver or are coming here, I highly recommend going to Jinya. It's like a ramen place. And I didn't like ramen before, but me either. I hate ramen, but it's actually really good there. It's really good. Rosina, I think, is gonna meet us down here later. I'm gonna do a fun, like, montage of us living our best life, okay? I'll but you just have to film, like, be, like, us having the time of our life. <laughs> like, should we, like, put music over here and, like, pretend we're, like, headbanging? Yeah. Can you talking? So we're stuck downtown because Fern doesn't know how to drive. He doesn't know where the parking lot we're going to is. I do. It's just off memory and my memory's a little foggy right now. A little bit foggy. Downtown driving is really stressful because there's a bunch of one-way streets. So it's just not the move and Fern is, is a, a debatable driver. Dri is 
is a great, great driver. driver, and she just gets a little stressed sometimes. It just get a little bit confusing. What is this lighting? Turn here? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh my god, this is stressful. Comment down below if you guys have your license. If you don't, go get it. No. Hey guys, I got mine like a year and a half late. Yeah, she got it so late. Like, actually, yeah. really disappointed. So it's okay. I sympathize with people that get theirs late. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is where it was. So we're going to have to go in a big loop again and then come back down, right? No, why was this so much easier is it up the there? first time I did it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then you have to turn right there and then turn right. just do right. the one that you want. Sure. our first set of photos in our first outfit. Yeah. This is what our sushi looks like. I forgot to tell you guys, we came for sushi. And I got a Philadelphia mango roll and some spicy crunch roll, but I'm so full. And I got a fried California roll. It has cream cheese in it. And then I got two in the Geary, but I don't get the rest. <laughs> and Fern just realized she didn't pay for her parking. So I think we're gonna get another ticket. I can't afford another ticket. Do you know how many tickets I've gotten in the past like month? How many? That's the last parking ticket I got was because I parked too far away from the curb. I didn't even know that was a thing. Zina's <laughs> here! I really underestimated my time. I got here like two hours late. <laughs> Don't look at my license plate, but we are coming up to the car. Is there is there a ticket? I did? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is it a lot? It's literally $140. No, 68 68 You need to pay it by the 20th. Or? If you don't, it's like 90 then 119 140 We love life. I'm an idiot. An absolute freaking idiot. How did I forget? How did you not remember? I don't know. So I went to Urban. They're yeah. so fun. Look, they're like they're flared. Like orangey brownie. They're so cute. And they flare. They make the butt look top notch. Exactly. Got this blue collar vibes, and then it's so like that's cute. Like really low cut on the side. Oh, she tried them together, and even though like brown and like blue, you would you think. Want to yeah, but it does look really good. So yeah. So you're now going to find the next location. Second outfit. I am neon green. You guys look so cute. We just drove here and it looked kind of cute. So we thought we would maybe try to take some photos here. We look like Wanda and... <laughs> what's the other guy's name? <laughs> yeah, what is it? Wanda and... Ron. <laughs> it's not Oscar. Okay, if anyone drops this, you're dead. I can't tell if I like those photos of me. I feel like I look kind of bad, but you guys. I like mine. And Rosina uh, got some good photos. She's back there. There she is. I just got back home from downtown. Well, I'm going to make my dinner today. It took me a lot of willpower. My parents are going to 7 Eleven, and I was like, no, I don't want anything, but I'm trying to adopt a healthier lifestyle. Not that I have a perfect, healthy lifestyle, because I feel like a lot of people on camera think that I'm like super healthy, and I'm not, but I try to be. And so for today, we're going to make dinner and and I wanted to show you guys something actually because I just tried it for the first time yesterday. It is these veggie fold platters. These are sweet curry carrot patty. I don't know. You can just put it on the stove. But I had one of these alone and then ate it with some vegetables and it was really good. So I think it's what I'm going to make for myself today. My dinner is now done. It looks so good. The pasta was actually leftovers from yesterday that my parents made and I never ate. Um, I heard someone in a TikTok say this. I don't know if it's right or not. When you do stuff, your energy gets transmitted into like what you're doing. When people have like a negative energy and aura and they're like making your food, like at a fast food restaurant, for example, they're just passing you bad vibes basically. But when you're making your own food and you have like good intentions and you're just, you know, happy vibes, you know exactly what you're putting in your food, you're gonna feel better about it. And you know when like you make something it normally tastes better, at least I think, you know, because you feel proud of it. I have finished filming my video. I'm done. I need to start editing it because I literally have until tomorrow and then I have to hand it in. I'm going to make lunch. So I thought I would take you guys along. I have no idea what I'm going to eat. My family did in fact ditch me. They went downtown. I would have really liked to go because it's actually really sunny out, but I couldn't because I had to film this video. So the dedication is real.
favorite thing is just sauteing a bunch of vegetables and it's healthy. So, I mean, until I add the sauce because I use a lot of oil and stuff. I don't really have a plan what I'm doing. I just go in my fridge and like see what kind of vegetables we have. While I do this, I thought I would give you guys a life update. Not that there's really that much to update on, but this semester I literally only took like two classes because I wanted to focus on like YouTube and stuff and just like other stuff in my life, not necessarily just school right now. But then I realized that I hated both of my classes and they were nothing to do with what I wanted to do. So I dropped both of them. So currently I'm not even in school. And if you watched my literally my last video or like my second to last one, I was talking about how I was studying for my midterm and I did study, but then I just, I dropped my class before I went to my midterm. I think I'm gonna apply to a different school and do a program that's for like marketing, all the stuff that I actually wanna do. That was the update. I'm not in school right now. Life is good. With everything else that I'm doing, I'm doing like a lot of brand deals and this and that. Like I'm just so busy. I have cheerleading still twice a week, but we can't stunt right now due to COVID. Hoping that the restrictions ease up a little bit. They did just ease tad like where I live, but not really that much. The season is technically almost supposed to be over. It's just gonna be sad if it's like done and like all we've done so far is ritual competitions. Definitely cut way too much vegetables. Do you think I'm gonna eat this much? Cause I'm not. I think this is like a Latin thing, like, but they do sell it in grocery stores and it's so good. It's like an oil, but it's like a seasoning and it makes everything better. Literally on it, it says a few drops livens up food flavors. They're not wrong, but it's got a lot of like salt, like sodium, so like you can't use too much, but it makes everything taste better. If you don't like eating vegetables and stuff, buy this, I swear by it. Once it looks ready, I'm also gonna add some crushed red pepper and some lime juice to it because I'm obsessed with lime and it makes everything taste better. Mm, that is honestly so good. I am going skiing today with all my friends and I could not be more excited. We're gonna go to Cypress Mountain. I'm just getting ready so I can go pick up Maella, go to Rosina's, and then Rosina is gonna drive us all the way up to the mountain and pick up a few other stranglers along the way. And I think we're gonna get some lunch as well because I am starving. I'm gonna show you the fit that we're working with today. This gray crew neck that says Vancouver on it. It is from the thrift store and I'm just wearing this white turtleneck underneath. I've got some leggings and the cutest little ruffly socks. I'm also so excited because I have my North Face toque and this is gonna look so cute together. Maella that I'm outside of her house. I actually haven't been skiing in like years or since I was like 15 maybe and I'm like 19 now so I'm kind of scared. I'm going to rent some skis and some boots and all that so hopefully all goes well and I don't like fall off the mountain. And we are going to take some pictures in the snow though so we got some cute little snow outfits. Where exactly are you fitting that? <laughs> it's so cute though. This is not fitting in my little beetle. I know this beetle's useless. Hey guys. So we're heading wait, wait, to the slopes. Maybe you should put the seatbelt on. Maybe. <laughs> if you got an accident right now, this whole thing, your head would be decapitated. But imagine if I landed on the snowboard. Imagine the vlog content. <laughs> Maybe one plus when you ski. Right. Snowboard, first of all. I always like say like, oh, like a year ago, but I've been saying that for like five years. Yeah. So, I'm, <laughs> so probably like three years, honestly. Like three years. Gas station stop. Yeah. just got to the cutest cafe. It's called Kevin and Kevin. Oh, I've been yeah. here before and it's so cute. We just waited for like like 20 minutes for everyone's food to arrive because we need to take a aesthetic photo, obviously. And I'm gonna go around and show you what everyone got because everything is so cute. Oh, smoked salmon oh. bagel with potatoes. What'd you get? Um, an Italian panini. I already forget everything. I got a really yummy breakfast sandwich. We <laughs> scrambled all the toast. Looks and delicious. Matcha. Awesome. Ready to roll, babies. Wow. It looks so good. Oh my god. <laughs> yum, yum. Get <laughs> a matcha. Let's take a photo. Okay, we are done at Kevin and Kevin. That was really good. And we're gonna go back in our car and we're gonna be on our way. They're set up and it's kind of concerning. My little here. <laughs> photos but we don't have our stuff on island. Yeah, Cam's here though. Cam, do you want to say hi? Cam got here on her own. How was the drive up? Honestly, it was so good. I thought snow was going to be sticking, but yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't, and right? Know. And it's blue sky. It was like so ugly down so there. Broken. Yeah. Let's see the fit. Little yeah. Harley Davidson moment. Very cute. Oh, is this yours? yours? This is really nice. There's May changing. <laughs> okay. Anyway, oh, there she is. <laughs> <Butters. laughs> you look like Santa Claus. <laughs> He's adorable. <laughs> Looking good. Oh my god, the was so cool. Yeah. The jacket looks sick too. I just. Oh my god, this is really great. 
my head is ginormous. <laughs> we've been talking a lot for 45 minutes. We've been trying to get ready. We're finally ready though. Mate. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay.